uh, all of you that have joined uh, today's session. I appreciate you uh, taking your time and, and uh, coming to find out a little bit more about the uh, updates for the uh, new Autodesk Inventor 2023. Uh, my name is Timothy Harrison. I'm a content uh, creator and Autodesk consultant for I Get It with Tata Technologies. Um, I always put my email up there on the screen. If you ever have a, a topic that you might uh, want to hear more about in the future, maybe we can get that topic into one of these future live sessions. So today we're going to be looking at Autodesk Inventor 2023, the newest release uh, for Inventor. Uh, and we're going to look at a little bit of the updates to the user interface. Uh, this will be a quick uh, little session. Um, not a whole lot new um, for in user interface, but there is one major change um, in the way we interact with the program to start uh, opening and creating new files within the Autodesk Inventor environment. Um, so that's the new uh, home screen. This replaces what previous uh, several releases called the My Home or the Inventor My Home screen. Um, so naming is similar, but it's a little bit different in the way it, in, you interact with it and the way it uh, reacts uh, when you open and create new files within Inventor. So objectives for this course, uh, for this session is, you know, we're going to be looking at a little bit of the updates for the user, user interface and what is the, the new home, quote unquote, home screen uh, within the Autodesk Inventor uh, application. And with that, we'll just jump straight into Autodesk Inventor. So this is the new uh, Autodesk Inventor Professional 2023. Looks very similar if you've used Inventor before the last multiple releases, um, the actual user interface is very similar. Um, you'll notice up in the corner here, we have the new product um, logo, all the new, all the Autodesk programs uh, for 2023 have the new updated product logos. Um, that are all kind of sort of based on the new Autodesk logo itself. So what you'll notice here right off the bat is we have this new uh, home screen. Actually, I'm going to close this file real quick. So we have exactly what this would look like if you opened it up fresh. Uh, so we have the new home screen, similar, like I said, similar to what used to be called the My Home or the Inventor My Home screen. Um, but you'll notice here there's this um, empty box here in the middle of the screen. And I know when I first opened up the application, it's like, oh, what's this empty box in the middle of the screen? And this is kind of sort of a placeholder. So what you're seeing in the middle of the screen here is that you re your recent documents. So because we've opened this up fresh, um, there were no, no documents open when you first opened up Inventor. Um, so they just kind of give you this placeholder here um, saying that there's nothing here yet. Um, the button here for this learn more, this will open up the uh, help documentation online for this actual uh, new home screen. Um, so if you clicked on that, you want a little more information beyond what we look at today, um, that would just give you their their you know regular um, help documentation on the website. So this middle screen here won't show anything until we open up a file. On the left side here, we have a couple of different options here. So this first drop down, these are your uh, project files that are currently available. Um, similar as we've had before, when you open up a project file to create your, your basically your folder path, your how you find all the files that are related to your particular documents. Um, these are the current available project files that I have in this session. Uh, if we click this little three dot options button or settings here, this will open up the projects dialog box. Similar as we've had, we've had for, for many releases now. Um, so these four here that are listed are the same that are on this drop down list. So you'll notice here, we hit the drop down list. These are those same four project files. Um, one additional thing that we've, we've added now, in, in addition to be able to get to the project files here, there's actually a project files button here up in the quick access toolbar as well. And that will also open up that same projects dialog box. Um, so if we were to create a new project file. And we're just going to click through and just click next on everything here just to create a new project file. So now we have project file one has been added to this list. If we click done, notice that it activated that project and that project is listed here in that list. We could select this other project file. And again, remember, um, if you've used Inventor before, um, you have to to change a project file, you can't have any files open. So right now we don't have any files open, so we can switch between these different project files. Um, and similar as we have in the past, if you wanted to remove this one from the list, 
I'll go back to settings, open up the project dialog box. We can right click and select delete. Now remember, um, if again, if you're used to Autodesk Inventor, if you delete the project file from this particular location, it doesn't actually delete the file. The file still exists in that folder location that we've created it in. Uh, so you can always go back and browse it and, and re you know, add it to this list. But this is kind of our, kind of look at this as the, the, the recent uh, used project files that we have. Um, so if I delete it from this list, it doesn't actually delete the file. It's just deleting it from this recently used project file list. So we'll select delete, we'll select done. And then notice it doesn't display here anymore in this drop down list. So to get, get your, if your project file isn't shown on here, you just got to open up the projects dialog box, browse to where that file is, open it, and then it will be available within this recent, basically what, what I would call a, you know, a recent documents for project files. Um, below that, we have an open button. This is pretty self-explanatory, but if we select open, it opens the open dialog box, and then we can search for our uh, files that we want to, or designs or whatever drawings that we're going to work on, and we can find them, you know, as we have before from the op open dialog box. Below that, we have another drop dropdown. Um, so if we could click the arrow, we have, these are the part assembly drawing and presentation default templates. Um, so whatever you have set up your inventor for um, default wise, you know, whether you set it up default for um, for English or metric or whatever, um, these will be the, just the generic default templates. Um, and then we could, there's an option here to select browse templates. We can either select browse or if you select, just click on the new, just click on this here, either, either way, will open the create file dialog box. So we click browse templates, you know, either, either selection opens up the create new file dialog box. And then from here, you can drill down if you have uh, templates that you use for your company or you want specific metric templates or, or default English templates, um, that's how you would access those. So again, these are just the, the generic defaults. And then if you want a specific template, just select on the browse templates or click on the open um, and you can select your file from your template file from here. And then at the bottom, there's just some um, additional items. Um, a lot of these take you out to the help documentation for what's new, the, the overall help documentation, some general tutorials, um, the community site and app store. So this just give you a quick access to a couple of these items here at the bottom. Uh, so let's look at some other things, how this the new screen interacts um, when we have files open. Um, oh, and I was going to also mention, so right now this recently uh, used documents is empty, and so is the recently used documents under the file tab in the ribbon. All right, so we'll select open, and we're just going to open up a couple of parts here, and I'm just going to select a couple of things. Well, let's just open one and then we'll go from there. So we open up a file similar as we've had in the past. It opens up in its own tab here along the bottom. Um, and notice we still have the home screen. The one thing you'll notice that's a little different here than in the past, the home screen or what was previously called my home uh, was its own tab. So you could actually close it. Uh, now we don't have the option for that. The home screen is always there. It's always active. You can always select on it, but you can't actually close it similar on here where there's a, a closed uh, window button and this little X, the previous My Home had an X also, you could actually literally close it. Um, so now it's always here. You select on it, you don't, if you accidentally closed it, you don't have to go find it again. Um, there is option here up on the quick access toolbar to get back to it. Um, if you had lots of screen, you know, lots of, lots of tabs open, but really ultimately the, the My Home is always gonna be here on the left. You can't, you can't really, can't really move it around. Um, as, as I'm moving it here, it's just li literally just opening and closing the, the browser on me there. Um, so it's always going to remain there on the left. Um, so easy to get, e easy to always access. Um, so let's go, we're going to open up a couple of more files and just see how some other stuff reacts here. I'm just going to open up a couple of things. We'll select open. All right, so now we've got three parts open here in our session. You know, we can tab through them like we had, like we have in the past. 
And you'll notice here over on the right hand side for this documents menu, there's a couple of options here um, for viewing. So in the past, we could always go up to the view tab here and change the layout of you know, our different documents that we currently have open. Um, we also have the option down here in this documents um, menu to change how we display these. So let's select arrange. So this arranges these different tabs on the screen. So it actually opens up the, the, the home screen as one of the tabs and then our other three tabs here. We can actually drag one of these and actually dock it with inside of one of these other windows. So now we have this particular window has the display for both of these two files. If we go to the menu um, document menu for that particular tab, we also have options here. We can select which one is actually displayed from here as well. Uh, we can rearrange within this particular uh, window or tab. And then we have a couple options here. So we can close tabs, we can close all. So if we cl select close tabs, that closes the two tabs that were in that particular window. If we select close all, it would close all documents. So in a normal situation, you probably wouldn't necessarily see, um, I'm gonna close this. And, um, so in a normal situation, when you opened a bunch of these, we'll go back and we'll just select a bunch more. We'll select a couple extra ones. You know, so normally when we're just working with an inventor, normally you would just see these, you know, these three tabs are within the same window. But the reason I wanted to show that you can redock them into their own windows. Um, and that's what this close tabs is. So this would close all tabs within this window, opposed to closing all, which closes for the whole session. And I'm not sure if that if that makes sense. But the reason there's a difference between these two is that docking situation where I created, you know, they'll kind of sort of different sessions. It's all the same session, but different windows with the different documents docked in them. Um, and then when you do that, you can actually sort of pull that window completely out of this actual interface. And it's, it's its own separate window within your session. So if you have, you know, dual monitors or a situation where you want to, you know, flip back and forth between them, but not have them all within the main session, you have that ability. So we're going to select close all here that will close all our documents. Um, so then at this point, we now see the, the change here in that initial uh, screen. We don't have that empty box anymore because now there are recently uh, used documents. You know, so we have two options for display here. We have a list. So as we're showing here, there's a list of the recent documents. And if we look at the, the file tab, this is the same recent documents list here as well. We can also look at it in a grid view. So in the grid view, probably used to this type of, of layout, um, but in the grid view, you get a preview of what the particular document is. So then for if you're looking at it in the list view, we have the name, location for wh where this particular document is at, when it was last modified, uh, we can resort by those fields. Um, and then we also have an option to pin this. So if we have a super long list of stuff and this will continue to update as you're opening files. Um, so eventually stuff drops off as you get enough in here, you won't see stuff that was used in the past. If you want a particular document to always be displayed here, you can select on this pin and then it will pin it to this um, to this view and then it will always remain at the top. So if you have you know sp uh, specific files that you always use, and you always want to have them listed in this recent documents, they'll stay here at the top. Um, if you unpin them, um, then they'll drop off as you use, you know, open more and more files, the older ones will drop off the list eventually. Um, and then finally here at the end, we have an, a little um, more options uh, button. Uh, so we have three things here. There's an open, so it just opens the file. Uh, we have open with options. So this actually opens up the file options. We can select what model state and what design view 
um, it will actually open in. And so instead of opening the file and then having to switch to a specific model state or a specific design uh, design view, um, it, you can aut automatically have it open in those particular options. And then um, similarly on the the grid view, if you want to get to those options, um, it doesn't. It's not. You don't really see that button until you hover over it. But you're hovering on that particular part. Um, in the list here, you have the options to pin. And then when you're hovered over the box, that same options button comes up, you know, for the open, um, open with options. And then the last one here is to remove from list. So if we select remove from list, obviously it removes it from the list. Uh, so you can go down the list here and just start removing these out. And again, this, uh, this one in the graphics, where graphics uh, view here is the same list as the off the file tab. And then if you removed all these, we're back to where we started. We have nothing here listed in the recent documents. All right, that's it. So that's a quick and easy little introduction to uh, how we interact with Autodesk Inventor 2023. Uh, to be honest, beyond that, there's not a whole lot different with the interface. So if you're used to previous versions of Inventor, uh, you'll be pretty familiar with uh, how everything works within the, within the new version. Um, personally, my opinion, I think this new home screen is, is nicer than the previous My Home. That I feel like that other layout was a lot more cluttered. Um, it was a lot more customizable, which was kind of cool, but I don't know that anybody really ever customized it that much. And I think this is a much cleaner uh, interface to inter you know, to open up and create new documents within, within the program. Switch back to our PowerPoint. So again, uh, you know, we have uh, lots of uh, training for Inventor within the I Get It platform. Um, Highly recommend our model model based definitions course for Autodesk Inventor. Um, there's um, just for Autodesk Inventor alone, you know, well over 40 hands on projects, which is one of the things that sets us apart from many others. Um, to be able to have those hands on projects and take the course at, at your own pace. Um, so I highly uh, suggest you check out our Autodesk courses at myigetit.com. And again, just one more plug for. I get it live session suggestions. So if you have any um, suggestions for future topics, I uh, would you know, love to hear, you know, always looking for ideas for new live sessions. So if you have any, any suggestions at all, you know, I would love to hear from them, from you. Um, feel free to send me an email and, and let me know, you know, what you might like to hear or see in a future live session. And with that, we'll send you on for the rest of your day. I really appreciate everybody you know, coming on today's live session and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you.